Saat ini kita dapatlah kita dapat saksikan secara bersama-sama kedua pemimpin negara tengah melaksanakan inspeksi pasukan dan terlihat ada beberapa pasukan dengan mengenakan pakaian tradisional dan pakaian adat nasional Indonesia. Setelah ini kedua pemimpin negara akan mengenalkan masing-masing delegasi dari kedua negara. Acara penyambutan kenegaraan telah selesai dan kedua pemimpin akan mengenalkan sejumlah delegasi yang turut hadir di Istana Kepresidenan Bogor. Dan tampak delegasi yang hadir dari Indonesia antara lain.
Madam Luis Araneta Marco.
Thank you, Excellencies. Next is agreement on cooperative activities in the field of defense and security between the Government of the Republic of Indonesia and the Government of the Republic of the Philippines, presented by the Minister of Defense of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Prabowo Subianto, and the Senior Under Secretary of the Department of Defense of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Mr. Jose J. Faustino Jr. Thank you, Excellencies. Next is Memorandum of Understanding for Cooperation in the Development and Promotion of the Creative Economy between the Government of the Republic of Indonesia and the Government of the Republic of the Philippines. Presented by the Minister of Tourism and Creative Economy of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Sandiaga Uno, and the Secretary of the Department of Trade and Industry of the Republic of the Philippines, Mr. Alfredo E. Pascual. Thank you, Excellencies, for presenting the MOU. Next is joint press statement by the President of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Joko Widodo, and the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Mr. Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. We would like to invite President Joko Widodo to begin joint press statement. Yang Mulia, Presiden Marcos beserta Ibu Negara, sungguh suatu kehormatan bagi Indonesia menerima kunjungan luar negeri pertama Presiden Marcos beserta delegasi. Dan baru saja kita membahas penguatan kerjasama bilateral di berbagai sektor, kerjasama kawasan dalam konteks ASEAN. Mengenai kerjasama bilateral, saya menyampaikan beberapa hal. Yang pertama, kita mendorong peningkatan volume perdagangan secara signifikan. Dibandingkan tahun lalu, perdagangan Indonesia, Filipina sudah naik hampir 50 persen. Indonesia secara khusus mendorong peningkatan ekspor produk makanan dan minuman, farmasi, serta produk kelapa dan rumput laut. Saya mengajak Filipina untuk terus mengembangkan potensi perdagangan dan juga konektivitas di wilayah perbatasan. Saya mengusulkan revitalisasi jalur kapal Roro, Bitung, Davao, dan membuka jalur penerbangan Manado, Davao. Yang kedua, peningkatan intensitas kerjasama infrastruktur dan industri strategis. Beberapa BUMN Indonesia sudah ikut serta dalam program pembangunan di Filipina, misalnya proyek pengadaan dua kapal landing platform dock oleh PT. PAL dan proyek persinyalan kereta di Manila oleh PT. LEN. Saya berharap agar rencana pembelian pesawat NC212I dari PT. Dirgantara Indonesia dapat direalisasikan. Kedepan, saya ingin semakin banyak kesempatan bagi BUMN dan perusahaan swasta Indonesia mendukung pembangunan di Filipina. Yang ketiga, penguatan kerjasama perbatasan. Kita sepakat untuk meninjau kembali dua perjanjian pengamanan perbatasan agar terus relevan bagi masyarakat di perbatasan, yaitu Revised Border Crossing Agreement dan Border Patrol Agreement. Kita juga berkomitmen mempercepat perundingan delimitasi batas landas kontinen berdasarkan UNCLOS 1982. Keempat, di bidang pertahanan dan keamanan, kita mendorong penguatan kerjasama untuk keselamatan dan keamanan perairan di wilayah perbatasan. Saya sangat menghargai telah dilakukannya penandatanganan Agreement on Cooperative Activities in the Field of Defense and Security. Saya senang kita telah memperbarui Trilateral Cooperative Arrangement TCA antara Indonesia, Filipina, dan Malaysia karena sangat penting dalam mengamankan jalur perairan dari ancaman penyanderaan dan penculikan. Kelima, kita juga membahas kerjasama kawasan, bagaimana memperkokoh ASEAN dan implementasi dari ASEAN Outlook on the Indo-Pacific. Saya tekankan mengenai pentingnya memperkokoh sentralitas dan kesatuan ASEAN. Indonesia ingin memastikan agar ASEAN terus menjadi lokomotif stabilitas perdamaian dan kemakmuran kawasan. ASEAN harus mampu mengatasi berbagai tantangan ke depan dan memperkokoh penghormatan terhadap piagam ASEAN. 
Dan untuk memperkuat sentralitas ASEAN, saya menggarisbawahi pentingnya implementasi ASEAN Outlook on the Indo-Pacific melalui kerjasama yang konkret dan inklusif. Dalam konteks ini, Indonesia akan mengadakan Indo-Pacific Infrastructure Forum di tahun depan. Saya juga mengapresiasi komitmen Filipina untuk mendukung penuh keketuaan Indonesia di ASEAN tahun 2023. Selanjutnya, dengan hormat saya mengundang Presiden Marcos untuk menyampaikan pernyataannya. Saya persilahkan. Terima kasih. Thank you very much, uh, President uh, Widodo, uh, Madam First Lady, and members of uh, uh, the ministers who are here today. Uh, the, as uh, is uh, proper for the times that we face today, our, our discussions uh, began as a recognition of the long relationship that the Philippines and Indonesia have had so long that uh, in two years' time, we are celebrating the 75th year of our diplomatic relations. Although our relations uh, go much further than that, because we consider Indonesians not only a neighbor, not only a friend, but kin. And for that, and on that basis, uh, we spoke about uh, the difficulties that we, uh, we as members of ASEAN face uh, uh, after the pandemic, and this is, uh, this is why trade is such an important part of what we uh, spoke and what we have agreed upon uh, in today's discussions. We continue to uh, thank Indonesia for the assistances and, the in and their, in their involvement in uh, the infrastructure programs of my predecessor, President Duterte, uh, and their continuing commitment uh, not only to uh, uh, go on and uh, with these uh, programs, but to increase the volume and uh, the closeness between our two countries. We also spoke uh, at length about the role that uh, we believe ASEAN should play while we face the difficulties in this very volatile time in geopolitics, not only in our region, but also in the rest of the world. And uh, we agreed that uh, ASEAN is going to be the lead agent in uh, the changes that uh, we would like to see in continuing to bring peace to our countries. And again, the assistances that we have received from uh, Indonesia have been a very important part of that. We continue to work uh, on growing our relationship to making it stronger. So much so that in actual fact, our discussions uh, progressed so rapidly that we, the President uh, and I, have agreed to organize task forces already to uh, meet and discuss, even at the technical level, no longer at the political or the diplomatic level, but at the technical level, uh, so, as we can, so as to be able to uh, take a full advantage of the opportunities that we feel uh, uh, that are available to us and that we will need to exploit to succeed in the near future. It, uh, I expressed uh, my belief to President uh, Widodo that um, this, this uh, partnerships, this partnership between Indonesia, but the partner between Indonesia and the Philippines, but the, these partnerships that we make with all our partners and allies and friends around the world will be of critical importance so that we remain stable as we grow out of the pandemic economy and uh, we work together and uh, help each other uh, to develop uh, regional peace and uh, regional development. And for that, I thank uh, once again the uh, President for his very kind invitation. I believe that we have made the proper choice in coming to Jakarta as my first state visit and in my, as, my, as President of the Philippines. And I believe that this is only the beginning of many more things to come between Indonesia and the Philippines. Once again, I thank the President, Madam First Lady. I also thank the Indonesian people for their openness and their warmth as they welcomed us since we have arrived here. Thank you very much. Thank you.
End of joint press statement. The President of the Republic of Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Joko Widodo and Madam Iriana Joko Widodo, and the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Mr. Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. and Madam Luis Marcos, please now proceed to Garuda Hall for state luncheon, followed by the member of the official delegations.